Welcome to the season finale of Soul Knowledge. Tonight, we will discuss the world's most advanced and ambitious running shoes, the Zoom X Vaporfly 4% and the Zoom X Vaporfly Next Percent. This will be a podium finish. Let's get into it. back to Soul Knowledge, the home of the sneaker story and the home of sports culture insights. I'm your host, Bernie Wickham, and I'm the sneaker evangelist. One of mankind's most amazing achievements within athletics is to run the 100 meters in under 10 seconds. And for many years, people thought that this was impossible. But as you know today, there are a few people who have achieved this landmark. And even our own Akani Sambini has managed to achieve that too. The next achievement that needs to be chased is a marathon to be run under two hours. The current space where Nike initially began tackling the project of breaking the two hour marathon was a world record of two hours, two minutes and 57 seconds. Nike becomes obsessed with the idea of having one of its athletes cross the finish line in under two hours. In sketch phase of the idea, they had a conversation with one of their elite athletes, Elliot Kipchoge. And Elliot says, wouldn't it be great to have a marathon runner that's kind of built in a way that a running spike is built for a sprinter? So that propulsion, that speed, that pace, but just for a marathon runner, that was the light bulb comment that got Nike thinking about the secret weapon to the shoe. Now in trying to understand how Nike's achieved what they've set out to do, they've started to create a new midsole. This midsole is referred to as Zoom X. Not to be confused with Zoom Air, which is an air unit, but in this new Zoom X midsole, which is actually 50% lighter than any other foam that exists on the market, hidden within this midsole is actually a full length carbon fiber plate that's stuck right in over there, and it's actually been given a proprietary fit by Nike so that it is fine tuned to give a level of propulsion that has not yet been seen in a marathon shoe and that lends to Elliot's idea of that track spike talking to a marathon shoe. So Nike does some lab testing on the combination of the Zoom X foam and the carbon fiber plate and the results show that it has a dramatic benefit to the athlete. So much so that they take this new concept of theirs and they do a comparison to the two shoes which have been responsible for the 10 fastest marathons and that is Nike's Streak 6 and Adidas's Adi Zero Adios Boost 2. These two shoes are put in the lab with this prototype shoe and this was the outcome. What Nike tried to achieve in this exercise was to find out which of these three shoes cost the athlete the least amount of energy to perform the same task. So what they did was they took 18 athletes and let them run for five minutes in all of these three shoes over different days of the week, different times of the week, and started to create a data cluster to determine an average outcome. They found that the Adidas, although it was the heaviest, they put weights on the Nike shoes to actually make them heavier and sort of even out the playing fields so that it would not be the weight that determines the outcome, but rather other factors. The results are in. And what they found was that in running with this shoe, that the metabolic cost of running was an average of two to 6% less effort required to run in this shoe as compared to the other two. And since Nike used an average, they said this would be 4% less effort required on your part to achieve the same result when compared to the other shoes. That would mean that if you've got a current marathon time of two hours, two minutes and 57 seconds, that if you applied 4% off that, you would break two. You're in the game. What Nike then tries to do is unbelievable. It creates a simulation of a race where it tries to achieve the two hour mark by controlling as many factors as possible. The race takes place in Monza in Italy. 
So a good and a fast course chooses their extreme athlete or at least one of three. This was Elliot Kipchoge, puts him in the Zoom Vaporfly 4% and lets him run with all of the factors in their control. The result, two hours and 25 seconds. The fastest that a marathon had been recorded in but not the official record because it was not an official marathon. However, Berlin 2018, Elliot Kipchoge runs in this shoe, this color, this everything and sets a new world record in an official marathon, of course, the Berlin Marathon. Two hours, one minute, 39 seconds, champion. So a little comment I read in the midst of it says, measured in the lab, verified with medals, and records and as i mentioned this is currently the world record holder but also it has top accolades in the tokyo marathon berlin marathon london chicago new york boston all of them the shoe has crossed the finish line in premium positioning nike then ups the ante and creates a version of the shoe which i actually want the most it's called the fly print and they've used 3d printing to create the upper of the shoe the only way that you can buy the fly print is if you can prove that you can already run a marathon in under three hours so doesn't matter how, if you've got all the money in the world nike will not sell it unless you already can run it under three hours and then as if all of that was just not enough nike surprises everyone a couple of weeks ago and announces this shoe the Zoom X Vaporfly Next Percent, aka the 5%, drops it with just new tech. An updated upper called the Vapor Weave, which is stronger and then also offers less water retention and less sweat retention. An updated midsole with more Zoom X. An updated thicker collar. An updated outsole to do tighter turns and also a result that says an additional percent more efficient. I saw it, Instagram was a buzz with it, and then Nike also announces that Elliot Kipchoge would run the London Marathon in it. And guess what happens? Elliot wins it. Two hours, two minutes, 38 seconds. Champion, right? But then, Soul Knowledge gets a call, and Nike says, we've got one in country. Why don't you have a closer look at it? So what a pleasure and what a privilege to have a look at this. This is the world's most advanced running shoe. It is bold, it is ambitious. And I suspect that in probably a couple of months time, Nike is going to take another stab in a controlled environment to chase two hours. And Iliad is going to be the lead for that. So keep your eyes open for it. Also, just watch out for the Berlin Marathon. It is typically the marathon in which the new world records are set. This is going to be the shoe that's going to be worn in the next Berlin Marathon. That's it for Soul Knowledge in Season 3. It's been an absolute pleasure showing you guys some of the best stories across multiple brands, strongest innovations. And you will watch out how these performance stories become stuff that you will one day wear on the street. And it is all about performance at this stage. Watch it evolve. And thank you so much for spending time with us. You guys have been a blessing.